Alright guys, so today we're going to be getting speed density working. So, main thing is you're going to need three things. You're going to need your GM 3 bar map sensor, if that's the map sensor you want to use, with pigtail. Your air intake temp sensor. And you're going to need DSM Link V3. So, I'm not wiring in the temp sensor yet because you can just get it running off of your map sensor. So wiring wise, it's pretty straightforward. It should be red, yellow, blue like this. It'll be labeled A, B, and C on there. So from there, I'm wiring mine into the MDP sensor, which used to be right here. I already cut the connector off. So wiring a from ABC, which would be yellow, blue, and red. So starting with yellow, which is ground, it's going to be the black wire. Going from blue, which is the signal wire, is going to be light green with a black stripe. And then we have red, which is going to be our 12 volt positive, which is going to be dark green with a looks to be yellow stripe it should be the same on yours and then of course you're going to need a vacuum source you can see the vacuum nipple on there i have mine running to where the fuel pressure regulators used to go on the back here you can use a different one um i would suggest trying not to tee it off if at all possible and then mounting wise you can literally have this wherever um i'll be mounting mine later Alright, so I took a little bit of a break and I decided I will mount this to show you guys a good point. So that's just sitting on there. Um, there was an existing bolt hole, I just used a 10 mil. So that sits in there nicely, it's out of the way. Uh, I taped up the end right here a little bit to make it a little bit cleaner. And then I actually ended up wiring in my air intake temp sensor. So right here. Uh, it's right before the blow valve. Um, I'm probably going to end up moving it after the blow valve, but I don't have a good enough piece of intercooler piping, as you can probably tell. Um, so this I had connected to the old MAF signal that also has the air intake temp in there. So if we go over here, let me grab the old connector. This is what was on it. Uh, let's see how many pins... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so it's gonna have seven pins on it, and you only need two wires. Let me take the tape off this so I can show you guys. So there's a red and a black. Here's the top of the plug. Now it's gonna be one over from this end one, which is red and white, and you'll want to cut the black and then the red with a blue stripe. Um, you should be able to wire either or, um, yellow or black or whatever your color is, depending on what uh, air, intake sen uh, air intake temp sensor you get. Um, but you can either wire it, you can wire it either way, I mean. Uh, so this could be negative, this could be positive, vice versa. So you don't need to worry about that for that one. So. I tucked this one down in here a little bit too, try to get a little bit cleaner. So now we can go and I will start showing you guys the computer side and we'll go from there. All right, so now we're on the laptop and we need to connect to ECM link. So I'm gonna turn my car on. You're probably gonna hear my fuel pump going off. All right, now that we're connected, so you can see, I have V3. So we're going to go to ECU Config Live. And we need to get a new one. Forgot how to do it. I will. Alright, so how we're going to do this is we're going to go over to Speed Density. You're going to put in your engine displacement first. Should be 2 all unless you change that, of course. Um, we're going to go to, uh, these will probably show up red, I believe, the first time. And you'll click on it, 
and it'll bring you over here. Once you get over here, uh, you're going to want to do your MDP and your intake temp if you did it the same as me. So mine's a GM3 bar for my MDP sensor. That's the location that I put it in. And I also removed the stock intake temp sensor and replaced it with the GM IAT. So you'll click on it and it'll give you a list. You just go down to what you have, put it in. Uh, you can edit the description a little bit near the end here if you need to. Once you got that, you'll go to Captured Values. And you'll scroll down until you see it. Mine's already on here. Or at least it should be. Let's see. Oh, no, nope, it's not yet. Okay, so GM3 bar would be right there. And then GM IAT would be right there also. So we would go to Add Device. Add device, and then we'd go through, we did okay. And then we'd go down to here, and we'd change undefined to MDP. And then we'd select our map sensor, is that one. Um, I locked the intake temp and barometric pressure, that just helps. And I also locked the MDP, it seemed to help too. And then go, let's see, we're in ECU inputs, so we can go back to speed density. And now we can go back into here, which will be our math comp, which is also right there. And you'll go from stock to speed density. And you'll save all this to the ECU, unless you have it save all as they're made. So once we get all that done, we'll go over to MISC and we'll disable our airflow smoothing with speed density operation. And then we'll save again. And I just like to go through and make sure everything's good. Okay, this is what I want. Don't need to mess with that. Don't need to mess with that. That's anti-leg stuff. Okay, we can go all the way through here. Just make sure this is how we want it. All right, so now that this is all good, I'll start a data log, and you can see my three bar map sensors in here, along with my air intake temp sensor. So I'm gonna try and start it now. I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of a view of what it should look like on yours. So I'll stop that for right now. Let this load. Go back in through here. So the ones you want to be looking at, of course, is your DM3 bar map sensor. You can change the color and everything else, of course, to what you want. And your air intake temp sensor. Um, some other things you might want to put in is your closed loop and your combined field trims, I believe that is, and your speed density ratio. So those are good to have because when you data log, you can right click and go to SDVE adjust uh, combined and SD ratio. Um, you hit it, it'll show all that. And it's not going to receive my response right now because I have the ECU turned off. But that is basically how you can get set up on speed density. It should run with those settings. If you guys have any questions, concerns, whatever, feel free to message me or comment. Um, I will try and get back to everybody in a reasonable time frame. Um, your settings may not be exactly like mine. Uh, I haven't even touched the table here yet, really. So there's a lot you can do. You can track the data log with it too. So I'll probably end up getting into that in a different video. But that should be a basis of how to get you guys at least started on this. I hope this helps. Uh, comment, like, subscribe if you want. Thanks.